So another Andy B two minute video. Have you ever had someone suggest to you what you should do? Maybe it's, oh, don't cross the road just yet because you didn't see the car coming down. Maybe it's more than that. Uh, your hedges are a bit overgrown there. Don't you think you should be cutting them? We have that all the time. We're not allowed to cut our hedges and we get complaints that we haven't cut the hedges, but it would be illegal to do so. There's actually a bylaw. So we don't trim our hedges because there's birds in there and they need looking after and protecting. Have you ever had someone suggest in such a way they're not really suggesting, they're telling you, but they don't feel they can tell you. So what they do is they, they suggest in a really, really unpleasant way. I've had that many, many times. And we need to discern between suggestions and orders. We need to determine between suggestions that are helpful and suggestions that are not. Obedience and sacrifice is one of those bits of scripture that if you only ever stick to the New Testament, you're going to miss such amazing gems. All the gems that you're enjoying in the New Testament, that all the people who wrote the New Testament you enjoy enjoyed in the Old Testament. And one of those gems in the Old Testament is this, to obey is better than sacrifice. What's obedience and sacrifice got to do with it? Well, it's very easy in the Old Testament kind of day. You, you go to the temple and you, you pay your tax and you get your animals burned. And it's a bit like the Catholic idea of, I've done a bit, all's good now. And one of the beauty that, beauties of what Jesus did on the cross is it gave us a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And the thing about obedience and sacrifice is it's very easy to make our lives sacrificial without obeying God. We sacrifice our money, we give to charity, we do good things, we, we help people, we, we trim next door's garden, but none of those things is going to get you into heaven. We can't ever do enough good to overcome the evil of who we have been and are and will be without what Jesus did for us. To obey is better than sacrifice means whatever we're doing, we need to obey God. God can never contradict himself. He's never going to tell us to do anything that goes against scripture because he is scripture. So he can't go against himself. But to obey is better than sacrifice means simply this. When things are coming along and you're not quite sure what to do, be careful that you're not just going in with a sacrificial heart and will I'll sacrifice this and this and this. When God just wants your heart to be obeying him. To obey God is better than to sacrifice. Sacrifice is actually quite easy most of the time. But to be obedient means a whole lot more, which is why to obey is better than sacrifice is there. There's lots of other theological reasons why it's there. That's what I wanted to bring out. To obey is better than sacrifice. Where is God asking you to obey him? Just a thought.